What's good, guys? Prince Sports here coming at you with another one. All right? Bringing the filth. Yo. MLB. You notice that seems to be the sport that people say is declining out of all the sports in the world, right? Um, me, personally, I love playing baseball. Here's a word, playing. Me watching it, uh, baseball is far from a very entertaining sport to watch. Now, I will sit down and watch a baseball game if it's very important. If it's the Mets, if it's the World Series and my Mets are involved in it, I will sit down and watch that because it has significant importance to me. But for me to sit down and just watch baseball games in their entirety regularly, um, it's going to take a lot for me to do that. Now, you had guys like Barry Bonds that came and injected some entertainment aspects to the sport of uh, baseball. But that even wasn't enough to sustain it because of how downgraded he got. Once the whole steroid thing came to use and people started supporting him, right? He became um, basically obsolete and blacklisted from the MLB. And you could argue and say, hey, he didn't deserve that. But the fact of the matter is it happened and it hurt the sport of baseball. So people wonder why baseball is declining. Why isn't it not big? It's not because of race. People sit there and say, oh, there's not enough black people in um, baseball. There's not enough you know, white people in baseball, blah, blah, blah. It's not that, okay? It's not about race and who dominates a sport. If you watch sports just to look at it from a racial standpoint, then you're not really a sport fan, you know? Who cares what background somebody is or what skin color somebody is? If they're playing the sport that you like and you enjoy, just watch the fucking sport. As simple as that. Now, I could just tell you a reason why baseball is not that big in urban black communities. It's just that urban communities baseball don't fit well we don't have baseball fields on a regularly you blew it on a regular on a rag excuse me that we could go to to play baseball okay um a lot of the times there's conditions to that you got to buy the equipment a lot of people coming in, in the projects they may not have that money or investment to want to make to play baseball okay the parks are usually closed to play baseball. I remember in Queens, um, it was hard to play baseball even in Queens because the access to the sport was always limited, but we always had access to a basketball court because it was always around. It was right there in your complex in the projects, but it's not the same way for baseball. Okay. So if you want people to get into baseball, especially minorities, make it the sport more accessible for people to play, you know, um, then I'm pretty sure somebody will gravitate towards it a little bit, you know? Baseball was one of my first sports that I fell in love with. I had the baseball cards the whole nine, you know? And I, I will never forget, man. I had a whole pack of baseball cards, a whole collection. I used to keep in like a little, you know, a little collection plate thing. And left it on the project bench, went back downstairs, it was gone. <laughs> oh, my God. I would never forget that, you know, but baseball was one of my first loves. Started out as a Mets fan, you know, still is a Mets fan. But you got to also take, in fact, baseball is big in South America because a lot of those people, they don't have access to basketball and all these other sports, but they do have a bat and a ball. They playing baseball with their bare foot. OK, they out there barefooted with um, a, a ball and a stick and hitting that and playing baseball. You know, in the poorest of conditions, but they're still getting the job done because that's the only sport that they have access to. So, of course, they put time and effort into it to become great. And another reason why people, especially minorities, don't become um, baseball players is because baseball has a longer process to become a pro in. Basketball is more easier to become a pro. Football, more easier to become a pro. Boxing, more easier to become a pro. OK, so it's more easy access and it's more boom. You know, basketball, I play one year in college. If I'm good, I go to the NBA. Simple. You know, so the reason why the MLB is suffering is not because that we don't like it. You know, uh, it's a race thing. It's nothing about that. It's just the access and the, the ways that we have towards the sport. Um, we need more ways to access the sport. Maybe you could stop sanctioning the sport. And make it more easier for people to um, have access to it. Then it'd be more favorable uh, amongst people. You know, baseball is one of the most oldest pastime sports in America. And yes, it does have racist ways about it. But 
that can always get overcome if you have more people into it. And people here, especially in the United States, we love sports, right? It doesn't matter what race we are, whether we white or black, you know, we love sports. Now, there's the, you could say the same thing for, um, you know, a white person, you know, why they're not into baseball as much. It's the same way. They got more access to go outside and play in the suburbs to go and play basketball with their friends. They got more access to go and play football with their friends. Even if they're not growing in an urban community, you know, they still have basketball courts right there too to play. You know, and it's more easy and more their friends are gravitating towards football and basketball more. You know, so it's just the fact that the MLB is doing a bad job of getting this sport out there. You notice they play baseball more in foreign countries than they do in America. You got people, there's people here in the Philippines that play baseball more than Americans. And that's America's pastime sport, an American sport. There are people in South America that play baseball more than Americans. So baseball is becoming very international with people from Asia, people from South America. It's because of the way that MLB is promoting itself and having the access to people. It's your fault that you're declining. Step your shit up and people will be back into baseball. Simple as that. Sports out. Peace.